in all these architectural walls here. Yeah. Look at the water is spotless. And he's got some goldfish. Did anybody else miss Nick out there? Rip Nick. This guy loves water Look at this hot tub area. Oh, oh my gosh. This dog just jumped up. Hey. Look at this. So what was your concept here? So I am downtown Chicago, a project that we started two years ago. The homeowner, I think just recently, moved into the house. They completely gutted and renovated the house down here. This is a very unique project for us. It's a formal pond. It's a formal water feature that the guys built and designed out here. I think the homeowner either just moved in or is just moving into the house. But like I said, this is a two-year-old project that's just kind of getting used now because they're just here. This is a tight lot. The guys were able to create all this. It's pretty unique and a pretty special project. I'm Greg Witzak, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzak, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people all over the world, including our own downtown Chicago, live the aquascape lifestyle. Wow. And I am out with the president of the company, Colleen Heitzler, Brian Helfrich, the master designer behind this. But look at this project. Those are our architectural stack slate walls. This is a formal feature done in the city. So it was two years ago, Brian, that you started this, but they just recently moved in, or? Yeah, they were doing all, you can see the whole house is brand new and everything else so we finally got occupancy you know earlier this summer okay so just a couple months ago yeah it's been running for probably i don't know since June. so a lot of people have been asking us about this because we uh had never showed the reveal of this project because he wasn't even living here right no he wasn't here there was no sense to turn it on because he was still doing all kinds of stuff with the siding and everything else and right so he's really i think just still kind of getting used to the space out here next year we hope to see like big flowing planter boxes oh yeah and everything else i'll and, have to come yeah. back for sure yeah, beautiful little garden. Yeah. Right here? Yeah, that little tree. Like, that <laughs> you so, like that, Madam President? I think it's so neat. <laughs> yeah, you know? I can see like some water lettuce and stuff up on top. Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of hanging away. And all these architectural that. walls here. Yeah. Oh, look at the water is spotless. Yes. And he's got some Ooh. goldfish. There's some goldfish in there. It goes down a little more than two feet deep. So one, two, three, four. Yep. And then the wetland filter to this thing is right here. Oh, right. And you can see the water moving through the joints this way. Yes. So I get right. comes up, pushes this way. And then our skimmer box sits over there. Huh. It was a very unique design, but didn't you kind of like do the whole kind of the design for the yard? The whole backyard. So from where the grill sits to uh, where the table sits to, uh, you know, the fire pit back behind. Oh yeah, look at the back of this. So what was your concept here? Just a hidden little area, huh? We knew we wanted to do these walls in here and the architectural walls just went so well with the layout of the house and everything else. And I knew they'd be tall on the back side. Uh -huh. So we create this little intimate fire yes, area back totally. Here. You know, a little cedar bench and we've got like steel poles. So what's up. the eventual goal to put vines back here? Or? I'd love to see like vines just kind of grow up yes. this thing and turn this into a green wall. And we did these oversized benches with that. Oh, oh my gosh. This dog just jumped up. Hey, <laughs> do you know these dogs, Brian? Oh. I know this guy. Hey, guys. <laughs> they are very friendly. Very friendly. That's a big dog, whatever that is. Big black dog. Oh, you are so fun. Yeah, you oh. are so fun. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a big dog. Yeah. Yeah, I love dogs. <laughs> okay. So the neighbors were looking over. So eventually came more, just more of a garden growing on here. I love the birds coming and drinking right in the upper spillway wall. And so with these oversized benches, you know, the plants will come out to here. But with the wide benches, then it won't be a problem. Okay. Right? So the plants won't be on your back. So that was the goal when you designed this. Yeah, this little planter to kind of break up the space between this area here. Suggested the idea of turning the garage into more of a little bar. Uh huh. So they can open, these are those windows that go, you know, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this is a garage. So that's, so everything had to come through the back alley here, huh? Everything had to come there, which was the most challenging part. But they got this huge countertop, so when they have big events, you can turn this into a bar. People can come up in here. We have lights everywhere. There's okay. Lights underneath this. There's lights underneath this. You can see these little industry ones here. Kind yeah. Of putting lights in all over. And then is there an upper garden up there? Well, I know that the plan was to do a whole rooftop garden. I think they've got it ready. Okay. Finished, finished. Okay. Let's go check it out. Yeah. At the very least, the view will be cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. In the city. So there's a traditional city back lot. No rooftop deck yet. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, very neat. How awesome will this be when this is finished? Ah. Look down on that space. Oh, totally. Very cool. And again, once again, like look at the size of the lot here. It's the same on either side. Oh yeah, right. right. How much more you have? <laughs> there's the puppy many, next door. Oh. Look at how many living spaces there are? You got this one. You got that one. You have the grill area. You have the dining area. Yeah. Were you on this project, or was it mostly Chris? You know who was doing this is Nick. Oh, this was back when Nick was with us. This we miss Nick. Anybody else miss Nick out there? 
there, Rip Nick. He's a union <laughs> electrician now, right? Yep. A union electrician, moved away pretty far from Aqualand, and so he was the main one, and he really kind of loved, he loved the formal. He loves numbers, yeah. right? He loves making sure everything's square, and so on, and so on, and so Like, you see the left side of the pond over here? Yes. If that was slightly off, let's say it was three degrees off, you would notice it, because then it's not square with the stone steppers going across, which are not square with the oh, yes. going that way. Everything has to be perfectly squared off. Uh -huh. And if it's not, then joints wouldn't match up with the brick coming up to the house. Right. You end up getting like V cuts, which would look weird. Right. And so he's really good at laying all that stuff out and making sure everything's squared. <laughs> I love all the dogs. Got the L right there. That's how people get around. We're just hanging out on your roof, the future rooftop garden. Mike, this is beautiful back here. Yeah, they did a great job. You can feel that. Yeah. That's not, a pretty big star in there. Not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey everybody, we're back here in the city. I haven't been back here in a long time. Greg's got me just kind of giving you a rundown of the whole design here. And what's fun is when customers like Don trust in us to really lay out the whole space. And I got excited about this one because it was a little outside of our norm. We're so good at doing the natural and using boulders and carving that stuff in. And this is about as formal as you can get, but I think it turned out nice. You tell me what you think. So we knew everybody would come in from this gate back over in here. And Chris even did the whole trellis arbor here. Area here so you come in back here and I wanted people to be just stopped by these big architectural walls with the sound of rain coming down them and I think it just looks great it really helps define spaces no different than you would inside of a house rather than just be big and open a lot of people have open concept homes but in backyard it's often nice to create these little rooms and so these walls do just that on the other side is a whole nother room so we've got our architectural walls of course they're all lit up from the base which look amazing we even have lights in the top of them there we have lights underneath the cantilevered edge along here shining down and across looks great we've got our bridge and of course everybody wants to cross a bridge we've designed in our outdoor kitchen right next to the indoor space over here this is actually a hot tub right here we knew they'd be using this hot tub quite a bit and that's why we did this countertop here so people that were sitting inside in the hot tub could open up the windows have people conversating outside and inside if they were using the hot tub doing this type of bar here was just nice as a buffet style type thing so if they were dining outside they could still have charcuterie boards and whatever else sitting over here if they wanted the bridge then leads over here to where Colleen's at to a small little intimate table over there you could go upstairs to the rooftop garden or if they're having a big party they could come out here and convert their garage into a big bar and this countertop goes all the way in these windows fold all the way back and then they could have a bartender on that side people outside grabbing drinks hanging out you can see the fire pit area now behind the stack slate walls and they've still got you know a little bit of touch up stuff to do here and there but the intent of these walls was really to have plants growing all up and around them turn the backside into big green walls which would look amazing can't wait for this red bud to get a little bit bigger and kind of hang over this space a little bit more as the Japanese maple continues to develop and grow it'll help define this space just that much more same with the cypress tree over there as that guy continues to get bigger and bigger it'll help define things that much more everything you know as the barbs get bigger and bigger totally block out that fence so you don't see any soil along there you just want to completely hide that all that space over there to the point where stuff's just growing over the edge so that's the design hope you guys loved it it was so much fun to build it's so great to be back here to see it all working the water's crystal crystal clear you can see those fish down in there all the mexican pebbles down on the bottom our wetland filter is actually here so we have two pumps inside the scammer box one feeds the walls another one feeds the wetland and then these stones sit on top of it and the idea was just to put the spacing so close so even if i put my foot on it i didn't fall into the crack and that water comes up through all the rock and the gravel pushes through these little channels giving us that circulation that we're looking for and then moves back around this way underneath the bridge and then of course sucked back into the skimmer box what i love is the 
same product, it's the same system to build it, it's just a square and formal project. But instead of boulders, we're using this type of wall stone inside the pond. It's just a matter of how you stack the stone and that's this guy loves water here. It's filling up right now. Yeah. Just moving in, but look, look at this hot tub area. We've got this hot tub area, he's got a skylight. skylight, and then look at the view from inside the house, looking out. And you hear that sound when you have the door open so, or the windows so open. So just like every other pond, we really wanted to focus on something spectacular from inside the house. Yeah. We knew this hot tub was going in, which is why we did the bar tap out there. Oh, so you could sit in the hot tub and have a well, drink over there and talk to people. Either way. Okay. Yeah. The kitchen's over there, so we're so trying to in the kitchen through the windows to the walls. Wow. Just so cool. It never gets old. And of course, we have all of the videos on the Team Aquascape that we'll put the links to the construction of this so you guys can see how this was actually did. Hey, fantastic design, my man. <laughs> Love it. watching the birds come down. Uh -huh. That seems like they could probably come all day long with yeah. this water in the city, yeah. huh? I mean, a very unique design. How did this whole thing come about? Well, you know, I had been to one of the shows and then saw one of Oh, the, the Chicago Flower and Garden Show. Uh-huh. Brian's setups there and was just really impressed and thought, well, let's let him have carte blanche and he came out. And now, were you living here then? And yep. you, okay. I've actually lived here for 16 years. Okay, so yeah, you yeah. just gone through major yeah. renovations on the outside and the inside. Yeah, okay. Pretty much got it in. Yeah. Yeah. She wanted to create a special space back here. Well, it's so unique. I would imagine that everybody that walks back here is just blown away. Yeah, yeah, people love it. Kind of mesmerizing. And Brian says you saw the architectural slate walls over at Aqualand, and then that's when kind of gave the idea of having a more of a formal garden. Yeah, like, how did this? Yeah, there, we were around the site and came up with ideas. I think the nicest yeah. thing about the architectural walls is look at the height it gives us. Yes. And if we were to do a waterfall, really a waterfall that high in a backyard like this couldn't happen. Right. Because of the size of the berm and everything else and so we get all of this height and then still get the creative room on the back side. yeah we let the fire pit and it's just a very intimate space Good, yeah it can create some different types of spaces yes it's not something that most people would expect to see in a backyard in the city <laughs> yeah for sure it's unique <laughs> 